here welcome to my kitchen I know you're like oh, welcome to my channel I don't say that no welcome to my kitchen uh, this is the one video I feel a lot of you have really been anticipating me too because I'm really excited for all the work that we are doing in this space so one thing is our fridge didn't fit in here not in the kitchen it couldn't go past the door it couldn't come through into the kitchen so we had to find space for you to call if you want to know where our fridge is you're gonna have to wait for when we do the house tour after the house is completely done to see exactly where we placed our fridge but the fridge is not in the kitchen okay so that's one thing so it gave us a bit of space on this wall let me just show you this wall because this is where the fridge would have been standing i was about to say sitting but uh, we were taught better it would have been standing here but now that that isn't the plan i have this blank wall that i can now turn into a storage area so i'm gonna change into painting clothes but i'm gonna keep my beautiful face because for once i need to paint looking nice because there's someone who said i look like a mongoose a, not even just a mongoose a homeless one Honey, who is your mongoose now? Who? Where ya? Look, look, do you see? Huh? Also, I wore this in honor of Clover. It's black and white and it's all about cats. Cats. And I also have two cute paws over here. So, Clover. Yay. A lot of the work here needs to be... Requires painting or some form of drying time. So since the wood will take the longest to dry It will take the longest amount of time to dry the van for the varnish to dry because I have to do um, a coat or two my idea is I want to start with that for the shelves um, So I'll start with that, but we will not install them until later on Hey, oh. <coughs> so I've finished sanding. The thing is, I rubbed my eyes. This is why you can't, you can't do this work looking pretty. You can't. So what I want to do right now is I'm going to um, organize or arrange the pieces out here, this balcony, because it's pretty empty. I'll just panga them nicely and then vanish them. Leave them to dry because it will take a while. So I'll do one side first, then flip, do the other side, then you know the back and forth until you know everything is done one I hope that the music that's playing downstairs isn't that loud that you can hear it and I end up getting a copyright strike but we have like uh, our neighbors from below play the loudest tackiest music ever <laughs> I want to remove all this stuff and place it um, I've moved all the stuff that was on the edge. I've placed it to cool. I want to just remove all the dishes and whatever. But so what I wanted, the reason I'm talking to you is what I want to do is I want to mark where each door belongs because I don't want to mix them up. So this door, I want to mark it as like door number two. So I'll put a, a piece of masking tape at the back and just write number two. That's going to be number one, number three, like that. To make sure that you replace the door exactly where it was before. So I want to start with the ones up here. Thank you. 
my next step is to clean So, oh, look at the difference that that makes. Like, just compare this brownish thing versus the white. Mmm, splendid. So, this one, I've finished all the coats. I've done the first coat on this one. But since the first coat is on that takes the longest to dry, I'm thinking of doing the door. This is how I usually look when I paint. And for the people who are like, wear gloves, wear... This paint is breathable, non-toxic. That's why I tell you, buy paint from the paint depot. It is water-based, non-toxic, breathable, and that's the paint that I use because I, you can't... Don't use paint that won't allow you to sleep and you'll get the same results if you just use paint that you can paint and you don't even smell it. It has no scent. non-toxic environmental friendly so if you are about that life and it's also a lot cheaper than the brands that most brands we buy here i'm just saying they're not sponsoring this video i've been using their paint on the house um they're not sponsoring this video but their paint is legit really good so that one we are going to leave that to dry i'll repeat the process of cleaning and stuff but first i think i want to remove the glass Okay, I'll remove the handles, then the glass. So this glass has been required using silicone. So I'll just use this cutting tool that I have and just cut up the silicone around where the glass is sitting on. I'm going to use a knife on this front side. Yeah. Found a cool way. I'm just putting, I'm pushing the knife in in all the parts that have it and then just lift it yay there you go there you go so I'll just go in with the brush okay. just to get all the paint to come in It is now Tuesday morning and last night I slept at like 1 a.m. Uh, painting these doors. Uh, I need to give them one last coat. This Okay, so um, I'm out here with my plants and I did not, I forgot to water these ones last night when I came back with them because I got them yesterday. I forgot to put some water in them so some of them have started to wilt a bit but once I transfer them into the soil and water them and then I'll leave them out here for the night to just um, soak up all the, the air and just for everything to blend in. And then everything will be fine. So, remember this plant? Oh, if you follow me on IG, you saw this plant. Follow me on IG. And then you'd have seen this plant. Naomi also prepared some soil for me. Anytime I get plants from her, I ask her to prepare soil for me. Uh, because of one thing, her soil, she mixes it with the manure 
the natural occurring manure aka mafia mbuzi so <laughs> uh, she mixes soil for me so that's what we're going to use so let me show you how i usually plant okay so once i do like halfway like this this is like halfway i take my plant Oof, sorry so this is what this one looks like and then i just release more of the roots just getting rid of all this i feel like actually i should reduce some of this and then i'll just put that in and then now cover it with soil but not all the way to the top because i want to also decorate with some rocks so i, I just do that So I'll leave that at that point. I usually leave like uh, almost like half an inch of the top. So I feel like because also um, once you start watering it, the soil once the soil settles into place, it goes a bit lower. So first plant down. So this plant got weeds. But I'm like, this looks like weed weed, right? I'm like, it looks like actual weed. Look. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Get back. Leave my plants alone and go. Go, go, go. It's either something called skunk. Definitely not blue dream because no. Uh, soul diesel. The leaves might look similar, but no, even this skunk is a no. Hemp seeds have been thrown into stuff like this at the balcony. I don't know. I'm so curious. As in, it so looks like this. It just doesn't have... But then it has started having those two things. I'm keeping this as is. I swear to you. I'll keep it and then see what happens. Let's just leave that. Ah, right, let's move on. <laughs> so now the plants are watered. You can see the water is leaking. I don't know why I bothered putting that one open. It's just going to stay with the magic But So I'm just going to leave them over here overnight to let the soil and the water blend into the roots to acclimate to the new soil. Just like, it's a way of them being like, okay, cool, this is our new home. Um, hey, good morning. So yesterday i wasn't able to do much all i did was paint um all the doors and the of the cabinets that are at the bottom below at the bottom uh because i was painting them matte and i didn't have enough um surfaces to paint all of them in one go i had to do them in two in two whatever but i let the paint dry completely because the problem with matte paint is it can easily chip um, it takes about seven days a whole week for it to become really permanent and the fact that I did not sand the the cabinets uh, the drawers and stuff because my intention is to be able to strip this paint afterwards so I did not want to mess up the base of it because they need to go back to being what they were when we decide to move out so that's why i didn't sand it matte paint isn't the easiest easiest to clean so i was thinking i can seal the paint with some polyurethane the problem with that is then they stop being matte they'll have a, a slight sheen to them they'll be easier to clean but they'll have a slight sheen to them but i'm having trouble finding any water-based polyurethane um online because i'm searching online but yeah I, I wanted to at least give them a good 48 at least over 24 hours of drying before i put them back even now i don't want to put them back yet because the last of the drawers i painted yesterday at about 5 p.m um when now the others had dried and i moved them and then i was able to paint the others so what i want to do right now is now i want to put the glass that i got the clear glass on the white doors for the top cabinets i want to use some clear glass for that instead of the 
the tinted dull glass that they came with. Oh, please. Don't need me to sign. Oh, crap. Oh, no. This is big. Ah, it's big. It's too big. Funny how did I measure? I... Come on. So, I've called Karanja and he said he's going to come through and cut out the pieces as we install. So, as I wait for him, I want to spray paint my metal brackets. So these are the ones that are going to hold the shelves that I want to put in the kitchen. So I have two on each, each side. So I'm just going to spray paint them. Oh, the paint. Oh. Mm. One down, three to go. <laughs> Of this Cutters. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'll come the what happened? I have it. Mm -hmm. got oh. it's like how, how superheroes get their powers <laughs> in movies. <laughs> yeah. You just see it like moving. Yeah. yeah. This is how you do it. Just that you I lift do. like on one panini and then it just releases. Yeah. Mm. So the dolls are drying and I think they look pretty okay. This one I scratched it by mistake so I've added a layer of paint over here. I'm hoping it's not going to be too obvious like oh this ones are like halfway dry so that's cool. Yay! And they're very shiny so that's all we got. What new silicone and everything. Uh, what I want to do before anything else though. Oh crap is I want to use this window cleaner. It's a glass cleaner. It's a window cleaner with newspapers to clean the glass before I attach it, especially like the side that's getting attached, uh, which is that side before I attach it to this uh, doors. So that's what we're going to do now. I'll just drop it and then just press it down. So the one on the sides. Oh cool. To mount the brackets on this wall and I've encountered my first problem 
which is the pieces of wood that I have that are supposed to go in between are not exactly the size like I had asked for 6 1 because I knew the space was going to be um, 12 inches which was 12 feet uh, but he made the entire length 12 but also the pieces of wood are slightly above yeah that thing has gone off are slightly above six inches so now I have decided I'm just going to mount the brackets and then tomorrow I will go tomorrow is Saturday today is Friday may I tell you I have been so unmotivated I've been very I don't want to say lazy just I've not been feeling like not that I really was looking forward to doing this project but this week has just been very very tough for me so everything was just even when I would wake up and I'm like okay cool let's start and then I would start something then something would happen um, something stalls or you wake up with the psych to do something and then out of nowhere suddenly your silicone gun is broken like it's just been crazy and today um i woke up today being friday i woke up feeling a lot more motivated and excited to finish the kitchen and that's what i'm doing now so now that i've discovered that i have this problem what i'll do is i'll just because now i can't go i'm going to mount the brackets on the wall Then first thing tomorrow morning is I am going to go and have the second pieces recessed. So someone will be like, oh, how will you hide the holes that you will drill on the wall when you're moving out? Because this is tile, I will not be able to hide. It won't be like, it's not like if it was just a wall wall, I would not even feel anything about it. Because I know how to feel in holes that I've drilled into the wall, like with the bedroom and stuff. Like just using filler and then sanding it down and painting they'll never know that you drilled into their walls with this one you can't hide because it's tile so this is my intention my intention is i have already decided that the tiles that i'm going to drill into i am going to replace when i'm moving out and this is my my plan right I don't know when we're going to move i know we'll be here for a while i don't know how long a while is because we are uh, children of the world. I know that I won't be able to hide the damage that I'll do to the tiles. So my intention is this Moving forward, I'll be buying a tile and keeping it. Okay, so I'll just buy one and keep it Buy another one, buy one or two here and there and keep them until I have enough So given how many shelves I'm doing My assumption is each bracket is going to be on a different tile. So they're going to be like 12 tiles that means if I'm buying a tile per month, I have a whole freaking year to buy the tiles and then I can use the final another month, which will be like the 13th month to buy the groots and the, the, and you need the adhesive for the wall and all that. So that is my intention. If you do not want to do that, you do not have to drill into the wall but for me that is something i have made up my mind about because i really do want to have shelves because we do have an issue with storage and i think having shelves over here will also make this kitchen look complete because the kitchen this entire place is just usually just space because this is where the fridge is supposed to be but our fridge couldn't make it in here so that's why so that's my decision that is my choice you do not have to make the same choice but that is what i have decided and the idea of buying a tile a month um, is to just uh, make sure that it's not too expensive when i'm buying all of them in one go okay i i took centonomy classes i now think i had it I, I don't even have to like buy it physically and keep it in the house like i can keep aside the money seeing the plywood in the back the one i was cut i Cutting plywood with a handsaw is a nightmare. It's annoying, it pisses me off. I had bought that plywood for a different project. And then for the bar, actually, when I was doing the bar is when I bought it and I thought I would use it, but I didn't end up using it because the block board was big enough because I was worried that it wasn't going to be enough. So I ended up just having an extra sheet of plywood that I did not know what to do with. And then this project came along and i found the perfect thing to do with the plywood you are going to see which is i'm going to create a fake backsplash so i'm going to give the because all my walls look like this but i want like a different part this side 
where my cabinets and whatever are where we cook from I want to have a backsplash and I'm going to draw it on the plywood then stick the plywood to the wall I'm not trying to replace all the tiles in this room because I've just said I'm going to be, have to replace this one. No, I do not want to replace all of them. So I'm going to stick it onto the the tiles on this side using hot glue. I have two of this under here. That means whatever space I leave down here needs to be enough for these baskets to slide under. That's why I have marked this part, which means like this is where I want my first shelf to sit on. Or rather my lowest shelf will be here. It gives me enough space to pull and push underneath the the shelf okay so that's that secondly my shelves are three feet wide okay so the space from here till here is three feet but I don't want my shelf to be sitting like flush uh, I don't want the bracket to be on the edge completely I want to have at least one one inch just protruding out this way and another one on this side so my idea is i'll do one first i'll do one on this side and then that's the one that's going to determine where the one on this side is going to sit and then do the same here We're installing the doors. So now the silicone has cured um, since early this afternoon. I think it was afternoon. Did I just cook it to me? So I need you, you might have to step on that because I'll need you to be the one to hold it. Just. Because it's supposed to be inside. Uh oh. I broke your foot. I'll hold it. Yeah. It's been paid for. Okay. Uh, food delivered. It's so weird. Holding. <laughs> It is now Saturday morning. Last night I wasn't able to do more than the two whatevers, the two the two shelves. So now I want to finish the rest so that I can go get this bow scattered. However, we did do everything, not everything else. We restored the the cabinetry. Okay, the doors. <laughs> Saying cabinetry makes it sound like uh we did so hard. Um so that's what I wanna do now. I wanna finish with the shelves thing because i have to do two more over here and then the two on that side so my plan for today is to it's very simple it's to finish the kitchen like that's all i want to do today because also i have to bake a cake tonight um for my niece her birthday is tomorrow and i promised her mom my sister that i would bake her a cake so i have to bake that tonight so the kitchen has to be ready for me to do that So we got the bowels resized, however, we have two, this one and the one up there that need a bit more in terms of resizing, so we're going to do that a bit later. Oh, I need tilting again. Because here we want to put the backsplash first before we put in the shelves. The one that I was painting last night. So because my idea is this i want to put the ones on the sides first because i want the one that comes in the middle to align with the ones that are going this way that way this part is like one complete thing 
the ones coming this way are also one complete thing right however um, I have to do cutouts for this power outlets so I'm just going to clean the kitchen and then now we can get started on the organizing aspect of everything oh I've already spray painted the baskets outside I didn't film but they're spray painted um, I've left them all to air out and completely cure so Nick and Ziggy Oh no. This is why I'm saying Nick and Ziggy because they're like just that chilling. Was so comfy. And they're comfortable. But we don't care about their comfort. No. It's time. Okay, let's put these handles on the doors then. I'm going to start with the handles on the doors. Uh, the floors have been cleaned and disinfected. They are nice and neat. Everything that was down here that doesn't belong in this room has left the building. We want to put our drawers back. Um, because the video is just uh, Yay! Freedom! Yay! See? It's a full drop. That way you see what's behind and what's at the front. So we are going to try and find the cutout point for this stuff. I think we should just... So this is the stuff I was painting last night. This one got... I tried to seal it with polyurethane. I regret that idea. But here you can't see why. So that's good. So the idea is this is supposed to come here like that the end till down there but now I have to cut the bits here because this has gone in it won't come out but it needs to come out okay. lift from the lift from here I think we should have it just, you can leave it somewhere here for now. Do I get the name from it? Okay, let's see. Will it fit? It had better. We don't want to cut anything. Okay, so... I, so the way I want it is mm -hmm. I want to align. You see where these lines are? Like just one. Like you see like here. Just like one. We do. Which one? Do you have any? No. Imagine it doesn't have to. It really doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, yeah it's but okay. it's. I get what you mean, and it fits nicely till the top. Yeah. Oh, so it looks so good on camera. I can't see. Oh. Mm. That was the most cute little way to do that. Okay, so we lean it forward, but we don't want it to get off that bit, right? I wish it doesn't. Oh, so you want that's okay. This one too can work. See, like there's no way that's dry. A slight hammer will be needed here, but no, don't do that. When you do that, you lift the parts that are not on really down. That place and will be fine. Time to put up the shelves. Time to put up the shelves. Do you want a belly rub? Ow! I guess you don't want to belly rub. Okay. Is this one really has that? Is it on the extra on the wall? 
avoid moving that too much. There, fold with all your might. Please don't let it go. Note, I will be attaching it to the wall. We have done most of the work for tonight. We have decided we are going to just finish everything else tomorrow, which is now the finishing the arranging of products, uh, of stuff, same difference, and um, the reveal and all that stuff. So, as we have to bake, and not only bake, we have to make dinner, and it is nine. We've done that for an hour. It's nine, so we will see you tomorrow morning hola so today is monday huh? today is monday and the last time i saw you was saturday night when we were finishing on the kitchen the backsplash thing yesterday i woke up excited to finish organizing and styling the kitchen but first i had to finish with a cake which i baked saturday night but yesterday i had to now decorate and everything started off well but then at some point my body sort of just gave up on me i got so dizzy and i almost fell good thing nick was here so he grabbed me he helped me out and i was dizzy and my body felt weak and i was exhausted i think so i spent the rest of the day yesterday in bed drinking water just trying to hydrate because even like when you were looking back, I realized I had not drunk water for like three days. Like I had not drunk, drunk water, you know. Um, so I think I was suffering from dehydration and the exhaustion and lack of sleep. Because this woman doesn't sleep. Because it's not a lot that's been left, it's now just organizing. And for the organizing, uh, for the guys watching this video, I decided to do the organizing videos, a separate video because the way I organize and plan my kitchen is really it's it's a lot of work and i was like oh that's just it, it can literally be another video of just organizing and arranging my kitchen and then the styling aspect that one i'll definitely have in this video but uh the reasoning for some of that stuff will end up being in the other video Now I have and it's stable. So yeah, let's see if it will fit in that. Pass me that nini. The Malibu thing. So I spray painted this. This is a Malibu ram um, container. So this will go in here. And then the top doesn't look that nice, but this covers. So I'll put my my dish soap in this and then just cover it and then just use it to pump out dishwashing soap it's a win
thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it um, I had mentioned on my Instagram that I will be selling such baskets and I told guys to come here for details and the info so I'll be selling a pair for um, 5k and they are very very sturdy you can put like my plan is to fill this one with waddles and put like the other stuff in the other one like you can use it for um, your veggies for storage if you want to use it like maybe even in your bedroom so we will be selling I'll be selling them for 5k for a pair okay so if you are interested in one just DM me on my IG just hit me up on Instagram and I will direct you on how you can get a pair for yourself if not more this was the longest project I have done um, in just one room and it was exhausting and my body was giving up on me I am feeling so much better for the guys who've been asking I'm feeling a lot better. It looks like all I needed was actually rest. Thank you for watching this video I hope it was worth the wait. Hey, here we are sometimes you plan and your plans don't go You know the way you intend and I am not a machine. I have to Remember that sometimes that I'm not a machine. I need to rest. I need Hi Ziggy. Ah. Ziggy has been seeking a lot of attention. So I'm so grateful for the 20k subs and for all the love you've been showing my videos and for the guys checking up on me. I'm feeling a lot better. As I mentioned on my Instagram, by the way, if you want to be on the loop on what's happening, I always keep guys updated on my IG. So as I had mentioned, I'll be doing very chill videos for the next maybe this month but i'll do some diys but nothing heavy i won't do like um heavy 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 stuff for the next like three weeks but i will use that time to get back into my cooking videos now that i have a newly done kitchen that looks really cool yeah thank you uh thank you for 20k subscribers now let's get to 100k we can actually do it I honestly think we can hit 100k soon so if you have friends who have not subscribed yet and thank you for telling your friends let's go tell our friends tell your family members like almost everyone's watching youtube anyway so they can be checking out this content okay bye have a lovely weekend because i think this one is going up closer to the weekend <laughs> have a lovely weekend and i'll see you in my next video tell me your favorite part of this video in the comment section below.